Hey guys, Smoking Briar coming at you. Hope you guys been doing okay. I haven't seen you in a while. Things have been kind of slow on YouTube lately. I haven't seen a real lot of videos. Do you ever do that? Every time you go to make a video, your lighter quits working. Just never fails. Smoking this radiator pipe today. And if you guys are um, interested in these radiator pipes, that is, um, check out uh, tobaccopipes.com and it's just coming Tuesday. Um, they have Hector Weeb on there, the inventor and maker of these pipes, and they're going to have a live broadcast um, on their channel. And uh, if you want to jump in there and comment or talk to Hector, you can. And they're also going to give one of these away at the end of the at the end of the night. So. You might have a good chance to win one, or at least ask Hector what, you know, any questions you might have about them. I think they're great. They smoke wonderful. They're just an awesome pipe. Well, I'm going to set this down for a minute. Talk to you guys about pocket pipes. There seems to be, especially... Um, if you hang out on Instagram at all, um, there seems to be a bunch of pipe makers, um, artists and pipe makers, and the new trend um, that I see lately is all these guys are making these pipes that are all less than five inches long, um, you know, the Devil Lance thing um, pretty much got that started, I believe, and... Um, Seems like just everybody's getting into these pipes that are that are real small, five inch or less uh, pipes, smaller bowls, smaller pipes, and it seems to be the way things are um, are trending uh, in the pipe world. So I just wanted to put my two cents worth in and and um, you know just talk about what I think about them. I've got a few here I'm going to show you guys, um, just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. I'm going to grab two pipes here. Um, this pipe right here, okay, this is a Moretti Umpal, full size pipe, big heavy Moretti. And this is a Boswell's pocket pipe. Pretty much the same, but look at the size difference. Both Umpals. But, I mean, the bowl on the Moretti is, you know what I'm saying? Huge difference. And uh, it's these little guys I want to talk about today. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what I have. Um, here's a little Devil Ants. That's a Moonshine Pipe from Moonshine Pipes Company. And these guys have taken the pipe world by storm. Um... They're just knocking out some absolutely beautiful pipes. But this little pipe right here is barely, barely um, five inches long. And um, show you one I picked up the other day from an independent pipe maker, a uh, garage made pipe tool, garage made pipe tool, I believe. And uh, he's on Instagram. And this comes in at just, just five inches. He did an excellent, excellent job on this little guy, by the way. It's light as a feather. Really nice. Um, then you guys all know that I just... These pipes just blew me away. These are... I, I can't stop smoking these things. Um, these little Alpasia Curlies. Or Curvies, sorry. And um, I grabbed one, and then I loved it so much, I grabbed the other one. And these... These pipes are just 
I can't say enough good stuff about these things. These are um, these are well well made. The briar is just excellent. Um, under a hundred dollars, you know, for this for this pipe right here, under a hundred bucks. Fantastic smokers. Um, everybody's aware of these guys, the little OMS Dublins. Um, these are fantastic smokers. These are great little pipes, five inches or less. And of course, the old standby Jake Hackerts. But this Hacker, I mean, these Hackerts are short pipes. You know, they're under five inches. But as you can see, they've got a pretty massive bowl. Um, this is just the average standard Hackert. But in comparison, um, let's take a look again at, here's a big Boswell, full-size pipe, compared to the little Curvy by Alpasia, or compare this Boswell, well, let me grab a different one. Here's a Sir Jacopo. And compare that to this little guy. Huge difference. So I think the trend um, is really starting to lean towards. Here's a Rhodesian Boswell. I think you're getting the. Uh, I think you're getting the picture of what I'm trying to say. Um, if I'm going to be sitting out on the back porch in the evening relaxing after a nice meal, maybe sipping a cocktail, you know, I'm going to reach for one of these big guys, you know, and and just enjoy like an hour, hour and a half long smoke and just just sit back. And, and I like a larger pipe, you know. I mean, there's just something about a big big pipe like this that I can wrap my hands around and smoke. I mean, I, I just love these kind of pipes. I really do. But, these little pocket pipes, these little guys right here, especially the ones that have the full-size bowls on them, these are excellent little pipes to just, you can throw them in your shirt pocket, you know, you can put them you know, like here's a you know here's a tobacco pouch that I use a lot. You know this leather tobacco pouch. You could put four or five of them in here. You know, whereas with the larger pipes you can only put like one or two. So I think that these pocket pipes um, really have a place. Um, you know, in the pipe smoking world. Um, for guys that like to travel, um, guys that are just, you know, they're out, they're out to work and they can only sneak a, maybe a 15 minute smoke, if that, on a break or, you know, a half hour lunch. I think that these, uh, these little pocket pipes are, are really, are really the way to go. And they smoke well, too. You know, I was kind of nervous that being such a short pipe that, you know, there'd be a lot of tongue bite. Um, a lot of issues with, you know, the pipes heating up and stuff like that. But they really don't. I've never had a bad smoke out of any of these little short guys. And, um... I just really, I'm starting to carry them with me all the time. Now, as soon as I leave the house, I throw a couple in the bag. Instead of dragging around one of these big pipes, you know, and not being able to, to, to finish it. These little guys are really, um, they're really doing the job for me. So, I would suggest if you don't have one, pick one up, you know. Go on Instagram, look around. Uh... Check out some of the places that uh, are selling the, uh, you know, these kind of pipes. Uh, check out moonshinepipes.com. Go to pipe, uh, smokingpipes.com, pipes and cigars, uh, tobaccopipes.com. You know, all these guys are, are um, you know, getting into these little, little pipes and they're selling them. And you can pick them up at a reasonable price. Um, most of them around 100 bucks to 150 for the higher end. And... Um, 
I think you'll like them. I think you'll like them. So the next time you're just looking for a short little smoke, especially this little Boswell, this one was great. This was under a hundred bucks. You know, grab yourself one of these pocket pipes. I think you'll be uh, I think you'll be happy with them, especially if you travel a lot and um, you're just looking for a short smoke that you know isn't going to take you all day to smoke, and and you can just kind of smoke it for 10 minutes and, and put it away so alright guys that's all I got for you don't forget to check out the uh, the radiator pipe thing Tuesday night um, tobaccopipes.com I'll put a link in the bucket to them and uh, if you're on Instagram you can check them out there and uh, you can check out their website and they'll give you all the information on the uh, live feed with uh, with Hector so, all right, it was good talking to you guys. Hope you have a great weekend. Talk to you later.